So is this one of the weirdest projects you've seen? Or well, no, well, uh, you, you, I mean, <laughs> I uh, you know, uh, the, the, uh, pirates of the Caribbean themed <laughs> uh, shot glass holder <laughs> is pretty out there. <laughs> Welcome to Joe Max. So my friend Heather has always dreamed of drinking a shot off of Johnny Depp on an island. And since she just got married, I thought we could bring her idea to life for a wedding gift. So I ripped up a bunch of small pieces of cork and laid them in a container of blue resin. This would be the ocean and the cork would be built up to symbolize the island. I had to use super glue to keep the cork from floating to the top of the new epoxy pores, but as long as it was clear glue, it didn't matter. I wanted to make different gradients of blue water, so I did a lighter version when it got closer to the island's surface. I then added more cork and even sprinkled some sand in there for a realistic effect. My Johnny Depp is a Playmobil pirate, but you get the idea. I 3D printed the palm tree in the treasure chest to make the proportional size seem correct. I glued all these down so they wouldn't rise, and then finished off the resin pouring with a clear epoxy. Since I had never turned anything on a lathe before, I went to my good friend Chris, who is a certified professional wood turner. Oh, and he's also completely blind, so he has to understand what I'm trying to make from my unclear descriptions. So, uh, is, this is the top? This is the top. This is what you're going to have the shot glass yes. on. Yes. So you need a very, very, very small recess. Yes. And it, it, how far does the stuff inside come up how much have we got to play how much have you got to play with not that much because the um well the curve of this can be about um half a centimeter to a centimeter right um, so we're going to round this over yes very carefully yeah i've just done a pencil line on there can you see yes right okay I'm rubbing it quiet a few times just so you can see it. Now, why why did you even have a pencil in the shop? <laughs> for writing things. For Really? For, for other people? Yeah, and also the fact that I have sighted people come here, you know, because I don't need it doesn't mean that I should exclude other people. Okay. So... But do you use a pencil in any sort of... Not um, for marking out, no. Nothing for... No, I, I use... You see, if this if this was me, I would use this and scratch a tactile line on Okay. in lieu of a pencil. Okay. So we use that same tool to make a divot in the center of the epoxy. This will be a guide for how we glue and attach the base. Into there. Right, right. And then that will be pushed up. And we're trying to get it run as true as we can. So are you feeling a wobble? What are you what are you sensing right now? I can feel to... a bit of a wobble. Uh-huh. Uh but not much. This is good enough, and we put a ton of super glue on the bottom. This is then glued onto a piece of sacrificial wood already attached in the chuck. The spray is an activator to make the super glue dry instantly. set that up before I start putting my hands in it. <laughs> How many times have you done that? Oh. <laughs> After it's set up, we'll add hot glue to reinforce the base. Luckily, there is a bead for me to follow. Ah. So. How would you do this before if there wasn't? I'd just splodge it on. Okay. Because it's going to be cut off anyways. Alright, just stand place. So, you're going to just move in slowly. I'm going to start cutting. Right, right. Very gently. Yeah. So that was a very gentle cut. Mm -hmm. Get some nice ribbons mm -hmm. off that already. Okay. <laughs> so, oh, and you can see how it's not truly 
because it's, ah. it, it's it's eccentric at the minute, not mm -hmm. concentric. Okay. So yeah, you you are going to do that gently. Yep. So very gentle touch, and you're going to get this into true. So it's not really. It's going to be more of a cylinder. Yep. Now, so when you're ready, Joe, I'm going to hit the start button. Let's do it. Right. So nice and gentle. So this is up to speed. Yeah. So okay. you can rest your carbide. Okay, so this is taking off just a little bit of the shavings, even though I thought I've taken off a lot. I would then repeat this process of taking off small sections of resin. With epoxy, you have to go a little bit slower than with wood because it's not as forgiving and it may chip. It's really relaxing when you get into a cool rhythm. Now that I carved it into the shape that I wanted, it was time to sand and polish it. We kept working our way down the grits from dry sandpaper to wet. This took quite a while, but we had time. Mm -hmm. giving you a, a fist bump on this. Now that I had the overall piece, we then needed the recessed area for the shot glass. I didn't want to screw up all the hard work we had done, so I had Chris start the divot in the center of the resin. I then very carefully cleaned out the rest of the desired diameter of the shot glass base. It was then time to polish it all over again, and then part off the epoxy from the sacrificial wood. I found two pieces, two thinnish pieces of mm -hmm. palisander, so they're gluing up to give me a thicker piece. That's going to be your base. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how a blind man knocks corners off a bandsaw. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend doing this at home. We then trued up the base like the epoxy piece. Okay, sounds okay. good to go.
Well, that's enough. There ain't nothing in the world like it, Chris. It's a one-off. <laughs> that's for sure. Just you like just like you. Yeah. <laughs> We then brought it to a super fine polish and the pieces were almost done. It was awesome learning about lays, but more importantly understanding how someone who is completely blind is able to master this craft. If you haven't already, check out Chris's YouTube channel where he explains much better than I do about this entire process. I'll leave a link at the end. So here it is, and it looks great. I'm back home, and we've got little Johnny Depp inside of this um, with the palm tree and the treasure chest, and it's like, it's better than I could have expected. On the back, Chris put in some lines to find the center point on this. And now Chris, being a really smart wood turner, said the best way to put this center and perfect would be to Put a center hole here, just a little one, and in between here on this square. Take a small little piece of toothpick, put it in, and then that way it'll line up perfectly. So let's do that. I then added some cork feet for the base and then personalized the nameplate to finish everything off. Hi everyone, my name is Heather and I just received this awesome wedding present from my friend Joe who lives in England. Joe and I knew each other a long time ago and we were both teachers in Shanghai. So he looks like he made this handmade snow globe and on the front it says Heather's Dream 2019. And inside there's a pirate man, a pirate's chest, a tree. Yeah, that's pretty cool and it's awesome that it's all handmade. And also this shot glass. So this is an awesome gift. Thank you, Joe.